Hi, my name is Dennis Malepri, and I'm the creator of the Easy Saw Rotating Clamp. I've been making jewelry since 1991, and I've always disliked sawing. And I've been thinking about another way to make sawing easier. So when a family member became an engineer, it was time to make my ideas a reality. At this time, the clamp is made of polycarbonate plastic, and it's 3D printed, so it's extremely durable. I will demonstrate how to use the clamp in different ways. Thank you. Okay, well, yeah, it is very simple to go ahead and set up your saw blade and saw. All you have to do is make sure the top is put in place first, and then everything is loose so it slides, and all you have to do is slide the saw blade in the center, and you rest the frame on the the clamp and just let it dangle down a little bit you insert the blade into the saw and you can rotate it a little bit and you can tighten it up and this is all that it takes to go ahead and set up the saw let me leave this one here it's an older style clamp and then we have one here and we do the same thing it's locked into place and you just run it down through and you're locking it in go ahead and insert lock it down and tighten it up and that's all that it takes to go ahead and set up your saw for the sign fantastic very simple okay that's it hi all this is Dennis Malepri, and I went ahead and I've created this. Uh, I call it the Easy Saw Rotating Clamp. As you can tell, it goes uh, 360, and it's also a very good fidget spinner. Well, at least this one is anyway. But you can also lock this down. And I have some pins, so the way it is, I have some pins here, and you can go ahead and insert the pins, and you can lock it down to go ahead so it doesn't move. And by doing that, you can go ahead and do a different process rather than spinning. Uh, with the kit, it comes with uh, what we call these washers, and this size is a quarter size. What we can do is just go ahead and open it up and insert the washer inside here and then lock her down and then by doing that we can go ahead and work on smaller pieces like a bezel cup you can place the cup on top of the hole so it's a nice flat area as no, no angles like a bench pin so you can rotate it around you can uh, you can either do this when it's locked down or you can go ahead and do it uh, when it's uh, rotating uh, whatever you whatever is easier to do so you can go ahead and do that or we can just pull this out and pull the pins and then we go ahead and So there's springs that lift the plate, the top plate, and you go ahead and insert your metal here. So you really need to have two sides. You can move the your sheet metal back and forth. It doesn't have to be in the center, it can be to the side and around, but it should be, have two sides locking it down. Inside the, the clamp itself is a very heavy duty rubber that's been uh, epoxied in place. So it shouldn't be moving around. So, and like I said, you can go ahead and start from the outside edge, or you can go ahead and drill a hole and pierce it, and from the and from the center. So whatever type of job you're doing, you can go ahead and be done. Also, this clamp is really good for somebody that has hand problems. Uh, one of the things, you know, I have noticed that, you know, through age, you know, through time, my hands become a little bit weaker rather than holding something down. But this way, you can go ahead, so a, a jewelry maker can go ahead and, and lock her down like this and be able to go ahead and finally 
get back to the things I love doing. Take this block down here. And I'm pulling, yanking, pulling, pushing, and it doesn't move. It works great. So it's also, I've had questions. I posted this a small video a few months ago, and they were saying it wouldn't work with different saws. Uh, it does. And I have one of the other videos I have in this will show you that it can be done. So what's best to do is go ahead and uh, have it locked, the blade locked in place on the top, and you bring it down. And you can re actually rest your the frame of the saw on the clamp. And you can go ahead and insert the saw blade into the hole and then tighten it up. And that is so, so simple. Super easy to go ahead and do. So like I said, you can go ahead and saw on the side. Let's move this up a little bit. This is great for a newbie or somebody that wants to do some really precise cutting. So you can leave your saw, on, do it the right way, leave your saw in one position and uh, move the clamp back and forth depending on what you want to do. So you can go ahead and locate it. I'm not going to do a complete piece. I'm just showing how, it's, how simple it is to go ahead and rotate. Play 360 and about a three millimeter piece was just cut out of there. So you can say you can also go ahead and put your blade in uh, the drilled hole. So I'll release this and like I said, I can go ahead and just insert it in here as I already did a pre-drilled uh, a hole. You can just go ahead and then put it in your hole here like this and bring her on down and like I say you just go ahead and let it rest on the clamp and you go ahead and insert it and you lock your blade into place this can be done also with the older saw frames that's extremely easy you just go ahead and once again you drop it through and then let it uh, dangle and then go ahead and push it with your your hand and it takes just as long as this piece here to go ahead and do it. so let me just go ahead and lock her up and go ahead and There is a little bit of a learning curve, but not bad. I have a few people that are testing this out right now and come up with some different ideas. We can also do at a later time, so I can go ahead and, and Rio Grande sells a Gary's clamp. We went ahead and designed uh, the top piece to go ahead and, and uh, in, you know, we can insert the Gary's clamp into it and that can be locked down. So it's uh, Gary's clamp is a pretty good tool. But we can also make this top piece, and we call it number one piece, I can make it solid. So let's assume somebody wanted to go ahead and do some carving. They could go ahead and uh, have a piece of flat material on top, and they can drill some holes into the plastic. And they can uh, go ahead and tighten it down with some screws and a washer like what I have here. This material is polycarbonate plastic, so it's extremely hard. And they can tighten it down and they can go ahead and do carving on stones. They can lock it down or, or rotate it. So there's a lot of different things that could be done with this, uh, with the rotating uh, rotating clamp. So, back to sewing. But I'm not gonna finish this. I just, been doing making jewelry since 1991 and I've never completely enjoyed sewing. Well, I haven't enjoyed sewing. It's something that I just have to do. Four years ago I more or less retired and 
it was a good time and after their grandson went ahead and graduated college as an engineer, it was time to go ahead and work on that. So it was a good thing to do during the pandemic. So at this time, I have about 30 made up and every, all of the items are being assembled by me, so it's spend a lot of time to the finished work. Just like making a jewelry. You want it to look good. And eventually I'll be plastic injecting this. That's extremely expensive to make the mold, so everything is being done by 3D printing, which is a, a pretty cool process. So right now I, I have three machines running. Yeah. Yeah. Got, uh, so my electricity bill is getting quite high and very simple. So it's a, like I say, it's a fantastic way of, of cutting precise cuts. And like I say you can do it on the outside or the inside. Uh, it really needs to be done once in a while. You can stick an item one piece through. You know it has to be thick enough and all. And you have, do have to wrench down, and you could do you know work on it that way. But what also with the uh, the washers, you know, doing the bezel cups and other smaller cuts, uh, it makes things really simple. So, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and uh, contact me. Uh, through Facebook or you can email me through mtnrabbit at gmail.com and I will answer your emails as soon as possible. Okay folks, that's it. Thank you much. Bye. So there's a few different ways that you can use the clamp. So you can go ahead and open the clamp up and insert one of the washers, I have a couple different sizes. I have a quarter size and a half dollar size. You can insert it into the clamp, lock it down. Then you can go ahead and have a few pins. You can insert the pins and it keeps it from rotating. It wobbles a little bit, but not bad. And you can go ahead and when you're sawing, you're putting your hand on the, the bezel, I'm using a bezel cup and you can go ahead and put a little bit of pressure on it so it gets rid of that wobble. And all I have to do is saw and you're sawing on a flat surface, not an angled uh, bench pin or something like that. So, this works very well. So, make a quick demonstration. Okay, it is very simple to go ahead and set up your saw blade and saw. All you have to do is make sure the top is put in place first and then everything is loose so it slides and all you have to do is slide the saw blade in the center and you rest the frame on the, the clamp and just let it dangle down a little bit. You insert the blade into the saw and you can rotate it a little bit and you can tighten it up. This is all that it takes to go ahead and set up the saw. Let me leave this one here. It's an older style clamp and then we have one here and we do the same thing. It's locked into place and you just run it down through and you're locking it in. Go ahead and insert lock it down and tighten it up and that's all that it takes to go ahead and set up your saw for the sign fantastic very simple okay that's it and to keep the clamp from spinning if you need to go ahead and insert one of the washers or 
swap out the head which this one uh, we're going to be making one that's completely solid where you'll be able to actually go ahead and put screws in there for the say if you want to go ahead and carve a a stone or something a flat stone you can go ahead and, and put screws into the plastic and tighten it down and then you would also go ahead and want to keep the maybe keep the uh, uh, clamp from rotating so all you have to do is go ahead and put in a couple of the the pins there's holes in here and that's all it takes for keeping it locked from locking down Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, this comes with a GRS mount, mounts, so you have to purchase, I will not be carrying it, the GS, GRS mount that attaches to the bench. Uh, but uh, this does come with this piece here, so this runs about $22 on Rio Grande. And you can may spend a little bit more money for a plate, but just the, the block itself runs about $22. Alrighty, that's it.